guys, it's Way here, and today I'm bringing you guys a bit of a different video, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your perfect team on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I build a hybrid, uh, or one of my normal sort of teams that I do a squad build a video on. I'm going to show you guys everything that you guys are going to need to know on how to build your perfect team. Uh, today we're going to be doing it with a specific budget, which is going to be 25,000 coins. That's a budget a lot of you guys are going to have. If you want to make this a regular series, tell me in the comments down below. And if we can smash 20 likes on the video, I'll be uh, able to do another one for a different budget. Tell me the budget you want to see in the comments down below. So to begin with, you want to pick a formation that you really like using on the game. And one that I like using personally is the 4-3-3 fourth variation. It's also really good for building hybrids around uh, because it's got some quite easy links. And I can give you guys basically a template that you guys can follow to make your own team with uh, different players but with the same links and getting the same chemistry. So overall we need every player to be on 9 chemistry and I'm going to be building a minimum of a 3 league and 3 nation hybrid because that's kind of what I like. For most of my teams, I like to have at least three leagues and at least three nations in my teams. So, with a 25,000 coin budget, you generally want to spend about 20% of your coins on one kind of star player for your team. Uh, same, for example, if you have 100k, you want to spend about 20k uh, maximum on your star player. And yeah, in this case, so we're going to go and find a player from a budget of 5,000 coins uh, to put into the team. So, I want a forward, really. Uh, I think forwards are this way. Yeah, I want a forward. And I want a maximum buy now of around 5,000 coins. So I can then build my team around that kind of star player. We might be able to uh, fix uh, in a couple of more uh, higher rated players as well. We could get some uh, some other players over 5,000 coins in the actual team. But I want kind of a player to build the whole team around really. So I'm just going to go through the pages. See if we can find someone decent to add into the team that I'd really like to use. And yeah, I think Lacazette is going to be that man. He looks very, very good. 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shooting. And I've not really used him this year, and I didn't actually know he was that cheap. So I'm going to go and pick him up, uh, put him in the team, and I'll be back once I've done that. So here we go. We've now got Lacazette in the team. So I want to build a 25k team around him. So I've got 20k left to build the team. And I'm going to show you guys basically a very easy uh, template to follow to build a team similar to this, but with different players. So the reason I wanted to pick Lacazette, not only does he look like a very good player, and I've not used him, but also he has a lot of strong links to him. And a strong link is basically where you have the same nation and team. So you can use Valbuena, Tolisso, Fakir, lots of players like that to get him on perfect chemistry. Now to get Lacazette on full chemistry in this particular formation right here, he has got three red links going into him. Now to get full chemistry, uh, so that's nine or 10 chemistry, he's going to need either a hyperlink, so that is uh, the same club and nation, for example, Valbuena, Tolisso, Fakir, something like that. He can also have three orange links and no red links. Uh, that would also work, or he can have an orange link and a regular green link. That will get him on 9 chemistry, any of those options right there. So, for him right here, I'm going to actually go with a hyperlink so that I can add more leagues and nations in to the team. So I'm going to go with uh, just a, a league on cam to begin with from Lyon. I'm going to see what sort of options we have, and this is how I build my teams. I look in the concept squads section, and then you can quite easily kind of see the players that you want for your team. So where is Lyon? I think it's Olympique Lyon. Uh, on her nice French pronunciation too, thanks for that. There we go. So we've got Valbuena, he can go in the team. We've got Grenier, we have got these guys here who we don't want to use. So that's Valbuena, he's kind of the first option we've got now. Next up, let's look at strikers we could maybe use. So we have Fakir, uh, yeah, Fakir, Bovu, they're both uh, two good players who could also be used. And finally, let's look at centre mids. We've got Tolisso, uh, he's got some informed cards, and we've got these guys down here. So it's between Tolisso, Valbuena, Fakir and Bovu. I think I'm going to go with Valbuena, so we're just going to put his concept card into the team right there. Now, um, Valbuena has the same number of links as Lacazette going into him. He has got the three red links, so he's going to, again, need the same number of links as Lacazette. And with this hyperlink right here, so same club and same nation, uh, you can actually get uh, both players on full chemistry in this formation here. So for you guys building a team like this, but with different players, just use a player of the same nationality uh, and same club in both of these positions here, and that will get them both on full chemistry. So now we can build into different leagues on each wing, uh, and then also in the defense as well. So we're going to go with the right winger, so we can just look up any right winger right now on the game, and uh, just going to look up the concept player uh, like normal, and yeah, we've got Kandreva, we've got Hulk, we've got some different players down here. Uh, I'm just going to go through, see who we have. We can also obviously go with right mids as well, so let's check them out. Uh, preferably I want kind of a pasty, maybe a 5 star skiller would be good. And the person I'm thinking of is, where is he, Quadrado right here. 
Quadrado, five star skiller, 93 pace, one of my favorite players on the game, so I really want to use him in the team. So I'm going to put him in the right mid position. Now, he has, again, three links going into him, so he's going to need either a hyper link, so that would end up normally being a right back link or a center mid link, really, in this kind of formation here. And you don't actually have any Colombians who play for Juventus, so you can't get a hyperlink to him. That means he's going to need one strong green link and one orange link. That's the only way of getting him on full chemistry uh, without using uh, too many links. Because I want to make this a no links wasted team. If you want, you can just use two strong links. So you could go with, for example, Lichtensteiner and Kadira. But uh, I'm going to try and make this a no links wa wasted team, which means every player has just the right number of links to give them full chemistry. So for this, you need a Juventus centre mid or you need a Colombian centre mid in the uh, Serie A. So we can either go with, let's go and look at Serie A. Then you can look at Juventus centre mids. And you have got the likes of Pogba, Marquisio, Storaro. If you look for cams, you have got, let's see who have they got. Uh, Pereira or Hernanes, two very, very good players right there. And finally, CDMs, we've got Lamina and uh, also Kadira. So uh, I'm actually going to go with uh, a Colombian centre mid. I'm going to see who there is. And I think Freddy Guaran is Colombian, if I'm not mistaken, he should be. And then, uh, he's a player who I really like using this year, so I'd like to put him in the team. And yeah, Guarin is Colombian, so we can go with him. I'm going to put him into the team right there. Next up, we're going to need to get them both on full chemistry. He still needs an orange link, a uh, quadrado. And Guarin still needs a strong link to get him on full chemistry. We could also use, for example, a Colombian centre-back here. And then just someone who links to uh, uh, him in the Serie A right here. But it's a lot easier if you just go with someone who plays for the same team as him. So we can just go with a uh, Serie A right back who plays for Inter Milan. And uh, I think uh, there is some people who play there. Yeah, we've got this guy here, the inform and uh, D'Ambrosio. But I'm going to go with Montoya. He's cheaper and he's a very good player. So there we go. We have now got full chemistry on this side of the pitch. Everyone here is on full chemistry. They've got exactly the right number of links to give them 9 or 10 chemistry. And if we check right here, we've got 9 or 10 chemistry on all of those players. Next up, we can go with uh, a very similar format on the other side. So we can go with a right winger who then links to the centre mid. And then we can use a centre mid uh, who links to their right back, uh, like this side here where we've got a uh, Guarin who uh, has a nation and league link to Quadrado, and then he's got a club link to um, Montoya, so that gets them on full chemistry. So now we just need a left winger, so let's look up some left wingers we can just look up in any league. Uh, so it's going to end up being a four league hybrid, I think, right here, so that should be pretty cool. So we're going to look up, see what sort of players we have available to us. We have got a couple of different players. Now, um, you can really choose who you want here, so you, you guys can follow exactly the same format uh, of team I'm doing. And then you can just swap out players for different kind of links on the other side. So you can use different players, but use the same chemistry links in the team. So what I'm going to do right now is choose a player. I think I'm going to go with, let's see, who can we go with? Um, Nanny is actually a really good player this year. I'm really tempted to go with Nanny. And yeah, I'm going to go with Nanny again. That's two five-star skillers in the team. So that's Nanny in the team. He's a five-star skiller. And now we're going to need to get him on full chemistry. So to do that, we're going to need either a hyperlink down here. And there isn't any Portuguese uh, left-backs who play for, I think that's Fenerbahce that he plays for. And there are no centre mids who get a hyperlink to him either. So the way of getting him on full chemistry is similar to Quadrado. One green link and one orange link. So to do that, we're going to look up Fenerbahce centre mids. Uh, it's a bit easier if you go with a centre mid than if you go with a Fenerbahce right back. Because uh, then the links will be a bit more complicated. So I'm just going to do like I did on the other side over there. So we're going to go to the Super League. And now we're going to go to Fenerbahce right here. So we're going to look up centre mids. We've got Souza, We've got Mirelas. Uh, now if we go to Cams, we've got... Who have we got right here? We've got Diego, a Brazilian Cam. A uh, pretty good player on the game. And finally, we've got Mehmet Topal and Souza as options down here. Now, the player I think I'm going to go with is Souza because we need a defensive midfielder in the team. And when you uh, use a formation such as this, you want to have quite a balanced midfield. You want to have one player who's good at attacking, and that should be your central attacking midfielder. You want one player who's quite well-rounded, so in this case, Guarin. And then you want one player who's just very, very good defensively, and that is going to be Souza because if you look at his stats... He's actually six foot two. He's got 80 physical, 75 defending, and 70 pace. So he's a very good defensive player. And now uh, to get him on full chemistry and also Nani on full chemistry, we're going to need 
either a Brazilian left back in the uh, Super League or we are going to need a Fenerbahce uh, left back as well. So uh, I'm going to use a Brazilian one because if I used a Fenerbahce one, I could use Erikan and that would get full chemistry. It wouldn't be a no links wasted team, which uh, is quite cool. I like no links wasted teams because they're more creative and uh, it just looks a bit more interesting uh, when you do make the team. But you could use Erikan if you wanted. But what I'm going to do is look up any Brazilian ones as well, see who we could use in the team from Brazil. So if we do this, we go to Brazil and Brazil right here. Uh, we have got Mota, we have got Mota again, and we have got Marcel. Now, I'm going to go with Marcel because he has got 80 pace and he's also got a slightly better physical. So defensively, he's a slightly better player. So we're going to go with Marcel in the team right there. And now that is both of the sides on full chemistry, we've got everyone here on 9 or 10 chemistry. We've got Nani, uh, Souza and Marcel on this side. And then we've got Guarin, Quadrado and Montoya. And in the middle we've got Balbuena and Lacazette. Now for the defence, uh, we can use two very strong links here. So we can use a hyperlink, uh, which as I said is club and nation. So that means uh, that we could use, for example, let's find out what options we have. Now, uh, I want to use a league that I've not used so far. So the two major leagues we've not used have been the Bundesliga and also the Barclays Premier League. So I'm going to look in the Premier League because that's where the most options really are. So if we go to Premier League, we're going to want two centre-backs who get that hyperlink together. So we could use John Terry and also Cahill along here. We could use, let's see what other players we have available to use. We could use Vertonghen and Alderweireld. And to keep this in a 25k budget, that would probably be a pretty good uh, choice to go with. Do we have any other players we could go with? We could use Jagielka and Stones if we wanted as well uh, for a slightly cheaper option. We could use Phil Jones and Smalling. Um, but so what I'm going to go with is Alderweireld and also the Tongan. Two players I've not used this year, but they both look really good. So we're going to go with both of those players right there. And I'm just going to put them into the team. They're both playing very well in real life at the moment right now as well. So you can use any hyperlink at the back here. So you could use, for example, uh, two players who play for... Uh, Lyon, I think there's Umtiti and Yang Mbiwa, they both play they're, uh, for Lyon and they're both French, so you could use them. And now in goal, all you need is either a uh, Belgian keeper or a BPL keeper. Now you can use any BPL keeper you want. Uh, you, could use, you could use Lloris or Courtois if you wanted just the strong links here. Uh, but to actually make the team no links wasted, to finish the team off, we can use anyone here other than Courtois or Lloris. So the player I'm going to go with, let's go with someone I've not used who's going to be uh, yeah, I'll go with Begovic right here. Not used him, and he's meant to be pretty good this year. So that is the team completed. We have got uh, 10 chemistry or 9 chemistry on every single player in the team, which is really cool. It's a no links wasted team as well, so every single player has exactly the right number of links to give them full chemistry. Now, using this kind of template of a team, you can actually build pretty much any team you do want. So, for example, instead of Nani, you could use, let's say, Sanchez. He's another really good uh, left winger that you could use. So if we go with Alexi Sanchez right here, put him in the team go with just his 86 card then you'd need a centre mid playing for Arsenal or a Chilean centre mid in the BPL so if we just go to Arsenal centre mid you can choose someone you want so let's go with Cathola for example right here so put Cathola in the team right there and finally you need either an Arsenal or a Spanish left back in the Premier League so I'm just going to look up Spanish left backs because I want to make the team no looks wasted but if you wanted you could use an Arsenal one so just search concept players and we've got Aspila Cueta we've got a uh, uh, Monreal, we've got Jose Enrique, we've got a couple of decent players, so I'll put uh, Aspilicueta into the team there. Now you can swap the centre-backs out for some slightly different players as well, so for example you could use, uh, let, let's go with Yanga Mbiwa and Umtiti that I was mentioning earlier, so you can do this right here, uh, swap them around, get Yanga Mbiwa in the team there, then you can go with uh, Umtiti right here, and then put him in the team here. And now all you need to finish the team off is either any French keeper you can uh, you can use, really, you can use Lloris, anyone like that, or you can use someone who is in the Ligue 1, so we can just go to Ligue 1 right here, and then look up any keepers, so we've got Trap, we've got uh, Ruffier, we've got Enyema, I'll go with Enyema for example right here in the team, and that would just be a slightly different way of mixing the team about, you could then go with a different hyperlink here, plenty of different options for you guys to go with, just look up players to suit your budget, and if you guys want me to do another episode, really, of this series, uh, it's not a series yet, but I can make it a series if you do want. And as you can see, guys, by following the same kind of template, you can build a completely different team, but using the same chemistry links. So right here, we've got exactly the same links, but I just swapped 
uh, different players around. I put a different hyperlink in the middle uh, with the striker and the cam. I use different links on the sides. But overall, it follows exactly the same kind of team chemistry links. And you guys can very, very easily build your perfect 25,000 coin team using those links right here. Now, if you guys want me to do uh, a part two where I use a different budget, tell me in the comments down below. And as I said, if we can smash 20 likes, I will definitely do another episode of this. So tell me what sort of budget you want in the comments down below. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this new type of video showing you guys exactly how you guys can build uh, a really cool team very, very easily and how easy it is to really build a hybrid. We've built a four league, uh, no links wasted hybrid right here. And I see a lot of people just using boring one league or one nation teams. And yeah, it's actually very easy to build a nice hybrid like this. We've built a four league, no links wasted hybrid. And you guys can very easily build your own just by following uh, the steps I have shown you. Using the same links, you can get full chemistry on every single player and build a really nice hybrid. So hopefully you guys will take some of these tips on board and make some nice hybrids and stuff like that. Tell me in the comments down below. If you have built some nice hybrids, link them to me uh, on Twitter at eataway underscore FIFA and I'll be sure to check them out. Maybe even do a video on them if they are really good. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe for you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.